Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini. Shout out to the whole LDBC. Shout out to my co host, Box Nine. All right. Gerante Davis and Amna Mares is finally official. Um, it got announced last week. They did a press conference. So now a lot of people are telling me that Gerante Davis blew up to 173, a uh, light heavyweight. Um, I don't doubt it, but I don't really care. These guys, these guys blow up in weight because they're not being active. They don't fight three times a year at least to keep they, that um, body weight down. I think two is, like, really not – it's not that – like, they got to fight at least three times a year. Two is really – these guys is not going to stay in shape all year round. They should be fighting every four times, you know what I'm saying, Every quarter, you know what I'm saying? Like, they should fight every quarter because these guys just keep blowing up in weight and have to make weight, um, and then they struggle to make weight. You see people can make weight. Like, it's it's crazy, man. But three, they should at least be fighting. But they said Geronte Davis should be fighting three times in 2019. Whether that is true or not, hey. But I'm the Morris and Geronte Davis, man. This is this is what um, Amna Mares fourth weight class. I think that he's trying to be a fourth weight division champion. Um, if I'm wrong or right, I'm not sure. But let's be real, man. He's not going to beat no Geronte Davis. That speed, that power, man. Spence and Geronte Davis. They their power is for real, you know what I'm saying? It's it's no way Abnamares is going to last twelve rounds with Geronte Davis. But one thing I can say is what I saw with Tony Harrison and Jamel, man. Like I saw Jamel would have knocked out Tony Harrison. It's not like he ain't been knocked out. He's been knocked out twice, so. Why well, I ain't going to think um, – I'm not going to think Jamel was going to be a knockout Tony Harrison, but he put – he did a miracle. He He's a miracle. You know what I'm saying? Now, Robert Garcia has three underdog fighters are fighting three big fights. You got first um, is um, Jose Cito Lopez versus Keith Thurman. Then he got his other fighter. I'm the Mares fighting Geronte Davis, and then he got his third fighter and his brother, Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. Now, that's – most people know that's 0 for 3 on Robert Garcia. Like, you know what I mean? All his fighters should lose their fights. But if one pull it off, I don't know who, but <laughs> – you know what I'm saying? What I've seen with Tony Harrison, I'm not going to doubt anybody anymore. But I saw Johnny Gonzalez knocked out Omni Mares in the first round. And Geronte Davis was way much a better fighter and more power than Johnny Gonzalez. So, um, but Geronte Davis, to me, is going to be Omni Mares, in my opinion. And I don't think he will last 12 rounds. He He will get the knockout. Just all you got to do is wait for it. But like I said, things can happen. We saw Tony Harrison beat Jamal Charlo, so anything can happen. Like, subscribe, comment, click the icon bell. 